so v dash on click equal to um, go to slide index okay and we want to pass in the current index okay so that's pretty simple so let's come over here and create a function called go to slide index which will accept and um, a parameter so let's say index so let's do this dot current index equals to index okay so that's pretty much it come here refresh now when we click on one we're in the first one second second slide third fourth and fifth okay so first one here all right so now that we are able to set the current slide let's add in a, a, a class binder here so that we have a current class set to um, the current um, number that we're on okay so let's come over here and let's do v dash um, bind to so class equal to so let's put in double quotes so we're gonna have to put in as an um a square bracket so let's add a conditional so if index that is the current um uh, slide that we're on is equal to current index in this loop if current index uh that's the current slide that we're viewing is equal to the index of the um, current loop number we're on then we want to add a class of current else just add an empty class okay so we'll save that and uh, come over here and refresh so let's just have a, a look here so as you can see this one has a, a class of nav number which is what we gave initially and the current is applied because we're on the first slide so just look at what happens to the second one when we click on two so i click on two and the second one has a class of current click on three and the third one has the class so now let's just target that class and style it so that we know which number we are on okay so i'm gonna come here to the bottom of um the style scope version that is so we say nav number dot current so the class with a class uh the, <laughs> the nav link with a class of nav number and uh, current so we say color black and a background color is uh black okay so it has to be white so i refresh that and now we're on the second one it has a um, different color to the other ones so same for the fourth as well okay so um that brings us to the end of um this view js um uh, slider um, tutorial and i hope that you were excited because i was and i thank you for watching and if you have any questions please ask me in the comments below and um of course this is um just a starter for a slider and um, you can customize this anyhow you want in that um you can pass in options when you're invoking the slides so one example is the starting index um, so basically you notice that we have a, a current index here i'll show you that our property called current index so let's add in one called starting index okay actually let's not put it in data let's put it in properties so starting index let's go to props so what i'll do is i'll duplicate this items per slide and then i'll just change this to starting index and the default value will be um zero of course and um so one thing we want to do is we want to override current index with starting index okay so when the um, uh, slides um, component is loaded we want to say this dot starting index equal to this dot get um okay actually this is the current index equals to this dot starting index okay so we want to make the current whatever we want to start at okay so at first this will look like it didn't make any difference when you refresh we have the same old slider and then we everything works fine but then what if we want to start the slider at number three so that has an index of zero one two so we can pass that in when we are invoking um, the slider okay so let's come over here inside of app.view and now when we're invoking it here we can do um, this colon and then starting index equal to so we can do uh, two or three save it and now when the slide just loads it will start at number four okay so let's do one when it loads it will start at the second slide so i refresh that so you can see it starts at slide number two 
when we give it the uh, zero it starts a slide number and um, one okay but if we remove it at all it will just remain as it is and start at the default one okay so um so just experiment with that um these values are pretty easy to um work with and just notice that anything you want to pass in just add it to the props here and um yeah so that's pretty much it and uh thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye